Okay, so the first one, Guy, Guy's coming up. Um, so Guy Cherney uh, is the co-founder and CMO of uh, Atlas Dynamics. Uh, he's going to talk about their uh, their solution, their solution and uh, obsoleting the endurance paradigm. Um, yeah. wow. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you can see, I'm, uh, first of all, I'm very inspired by what I just saw here. And I would like to get one of those business cards, if possible. Um, okay, so uh, you can see I'm very excited about being here. Uh, first of all, I didn't match the color of my socks to my shirt. And second, I didn't send the presentation on time. Uh, but I hope you'll excuse me. Um, so my name is uh, Guy Cherny. Okay. Uh, my name is Guy Cherny and I'm uh, the co-founder and CMO of Atlas. Atlas is a company that creates autonomous unmanned aerial systems uh, with uh, multi-drone uh, operation capability. And because Amit only gave me five minutes to talk, um, there's basically one thing I wanted to remember from this session. And this thing is that the biggest problem or the biggest issue that is open today in the field of autonomous drones, or drones in general, is mission consistency. And Atlas is solving uh, this, um, this thing. So um, a little bit about what we're doing. So Atlas basically creates a family of products, um, and therefore I'm an aerial system. First of all is our Atlas Pro, the aerial a, a vehicle uh, proprietary three copter uh, drone that was designed to withstand uh, extreme weather and to provide high capabilities in regards to both endurance and, and range. Uh, we create our own payloads both day and night 4k. Um, we're creating our own software that basically allows us uh, to do uh, easy operation, consumer like if you want as well as to create and pre-planned automated and autonomous missions uh, with pre-planned mission. And of course, with uh, uh, our uh, capabilities in computer vision and anomaly detection. Now, this product is what we call a semi-autonomous drone, because it's a product that you put in the bag and take it to the field, uh, use it to action. But in order to make this product fully autonomous, we created the Atlas Nest. The Atlas Nest basically allows us to take the exact same product uh, and enable it to do fully autonomous operation. The Nest, as we call it, or uh, as uh, uh, Sagi talked about it earlier, is basically providing it with protection from the elements and the ability to go out to a pre-planned mission, understand what it sees, report, and then come back um, and uh, land in the system and replace batteries inside, be ready to go out in three minutes. A little bit about uh, us. Um, so we founded the company in 2015, we are around 60 people today, located in here in Israel, in London, in Riga, and our HQ is in Maryland. I work mainly with defense uh, and security uh, uh, applications, um, but this is not what I came to talk with you about in this few minutes I have. I want you to imagine for a second that you are in a search and rescue mission in the Brackens Mountain with the beacon, Central Beacon uh, um, first and uh, search and rescue team. You're out there, you're in the field, you're outnumbered, the weather is terrible, winds, mountains, right? Uh, and, and when you have no minutes to lose, you need to send the drone back and forth every 15, 20 minutes because the battery uh, is running out, right? You cannot check uh, problematic terrain because the bivilos create problems with communication, so you lose communication. And at least when you even find something, eventually, then you cannot send this data to the rest of the team. No, behind that tree, no, behind that tree. You don't have a minute to lose. Now, this issue of being above a target or providing this data to your team is, is what we call consistency. And during the <laughs> last few years, Many companies try to solve this issue mostly by talking about endurance, right? Increasing the endurance. 
30 minutes of flight time, 40 minutes of flight time, 45, right? And they did it with the, trying to play with the physics, changing the, 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 the design, right? The materials, inserting batteries in all sorts of places, increasing it just a little bit. But that wasn't enough. And what we think, and what I uh, encourage you to think as well, is that, that the reason that this answer is not answered yet is because we're asking the wrong question, right? It's not about longer endurance, right, for longer duration. It's just about longer duration, right? And, long, and this is when we inserted what we called Atlas Mesh, right? Mesh communication basically allows us to control several drones at once. And all the product in the Atlas family, the nests, the drones, the ground, the ground control station, the uh, personal devices, whether if it's the screen in the smart soldier vest or just a smartphone for the search and rescue guys, all of them are connected. All of them are talking with each other. And that things enable us to get consistency, consistency above target in an autonomous way because the drones are working with each other. So I don't have much time. So let's see how it works. Basically, we provide, we send several drones to the same mission. These drones are communicating with each other. And what these drones enable is, first of all, we talked about hard terrain, right? We have one drone that creates the relay and the other drones are, uh, um, the other drones are behind visual line of sight, but still communicating through that relay drone. The second thing is we want to have a lot and enough time above a target, right? Hours above. So what you saw now is hot swap. A drone can replace the other drone, and then you get consistency above the target. You don't need to do anything. You just need to define this point of interest. These drones can communicate uh, with each other. And the last thing is the fact that you can send the data to numerous places. All the people in these in the uh, Brecken. Uh, um, search and rescue team can receive the same data and see exactly what the operator see. Now, these are basically the three functionalities, right, that enable mission consistency, right? Consistency above target, consistency in communication, and consistent data transmission to all the forces on the ground. Now, it might sound like the future, but basically the future is already here um, and was first publicly released by us uh, last month, uh, when we basically participated, um, or our drone participated together with the Rio police um, in the Copa America, in the protection of the Copa America. And one of the things that we did over there is flying mesh above the semifinals and the finals um, of, this, of, the, of the tournament. Um, and uh, this is the Maracana from above. Um, we're happy to, you know, to be in this uh, uh, forefront of technology. This is an exciting time, and I think that you know it's very exciting to see what all of you guys are doing. And uh, obviously, always seek to do collaborations. We're happy to save lives um, as we uh, as we do it. I'm here uh, afterwards. If anyone wants to ask any question, I took more than uh, you gave me, Amit. Thank you very much for inviting me, um, and thank you for coming. Thank you. Very, very interesting, obviously. Uh, very interesting uh, technology and product. Uh, I'm sure we'll be able to, to hear more in the future, maybe in the meetup. Uh, but he's here if you're interested. Uh, next.